Hello and welcome to League of Legends Advanced Tutorial with me. I am Fury and I am your host and today's episode, episode number 5, I'd like to talk about mindset and comfort zone. Um, I have some notes with me, so I will, I will be picking on them from time to time, so uh, I know where I am and what I'm about to talk. Um, okay, so about mindset. Having a good mindset is an important factor when you are about to do anything, gaming included. If your mindset is poor, then your results will reflect that. It's not possible to do something properly if you don't feel like doing it properly. Um, do you remember this time when your English teacher told you to write this essay and it was about to be five pages long and you didn't feel like doing it? It was so bad. Well, same will, same will be in your ranked results in League of Legends if you don't feel like doing something properly. Okay, so um, a mindset is related to a thing called a comfort zone. Um, let's define comfort zone as an optimal gaming conditions. This incl these includes physical elements, like sitting comfortably, like optimal temperature, hunger, fatigue, as well as mental gaming conditions, and, and this inclu include being focused, um, being willing to play the game, and being calm. Okay, so the best performance is achieved when one is in his comfort zone. There are many things in game and in real life that force you to go outside of this zone, hence making your performance worse. Please notice that a comfort zone, while having some universal factors, is more or less a distinctive thing for every human being. Therefore, it's your job to find your own comfort zone and to play within it. I've decided that I'll, that I'll present what my comfort zone is, so you can have an idea of what this concept of comfort zone is and so you can develop and describe your own comfort zone. Okay, so... Oh, I have, a, I have it all listed here. I play better when I am not hungry. But I play worse when I'm just after a big meal. I play better when my glasses are tip-top clean. God, they are dirty now. I play worse with my contact lenses than with my glasses. And I play better when my monitor, keyboard and mouse are close to each other. I play better when I don't listen to music. And when my room is tidy. I play better when my eyes aren't sore. I play worse directly after having a shower. Disclaimer, I do shower anyways. I play worse while I'm eating snacks during a game. I play better when I drink a beverage of my choice when I play, that's usually tea. And I play better when my mind is at ease, when I don't have to worry about something to be done. Um, or whatever. I play better at night than during the day. Unless I'm tired, that is. And I play better when I don't feel the pressure to do something in real life. I also play better without slippers, believe it or not. I play better with headphones than without them. And that would be it, I think. Okay, now I'd like to address the issue of mindset while playing. In general, please accept the following statement. You won't win 100% of your games. Yeah, that's it. Just accept it. There is nothing you can do about this fact that you don't win all of your games. Out of every 10 games you'll get about 2 free wins and about 2 free losses. Like there is nothing you can do in those games. The, the outcome is already decided. Um, yeah, but you need to make sure that this, those 2 games in, in which you will most certainly lose won't affect your gameplay during the, the last, well, the next eight games in which you actually have some impact on the final result. Okay, um, because trolls and feeders are so omnipresent in our community, I think this is n it is necessary um, to give you a few advice on how to deal with them. Okay, so the most common, okay, so the best thing to do is to use the, the ignore button. Personally, I use it a lot. Many professional players ignore all players as soon as the game starts, so they can't be um, forced to move out of their comfort zone because uh, 
those people uh, who flame or who troll a lot, they usually talk a lot as well. Um, and it is really unlikely that they say something meaningful, like misses, like take her like their blue just respawned or anything like that it's most 99% of the time is just um, something that is supposed to bring you out of balance so ignoring those peoples is only beneficial to you um, it is important to note how the uh, ignore uh, button works because at the moment it's kind of it's kind of flawed um, because if you ignore someone and then you meet them on the ladder again then you won't be able to hear them in champion selection which is kind of important, regardless if they are trolled or not, and you will you will be able to hear them during the game. Now, it should be totally the other way around. Like you should be able to hear the person um, uh, during the champion selection and not in game. But that's how it is. Well done, Riot. Okay. Um. As okay. So to sum so to sum this up, it is it is important. To remain focused and in balance regardless of what others players do don't pay any attention that some of your teammates um, troll flame or whatever if you think that it might bring you out of balance or if you notice that it in fact it does bring you out of balance don't engage that into trash talk just ignore the person and enjoy the game Remember to unignore the person the person before the the match ends because if you happen to meet the same person uh, you won't be able to hear them in champion selection and that's that kind of sucks. Okay, so try to define your optimal gaming conditions and play well within them. Um, try to stay focused after you someone flames you or trash talks you or whatever. Feel free to use the, the ignore button and that would be all for this episode, I think. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you would like to see more episodes or more frequent episodes, then please subscribe and leave a comment below. Cheers!